So, and good day, gamers. A formal bust here with Moonlighter, a first impression. But first, we have our sponsor. Good old dihydrogen monoxide. Water. Drink it up or die. Mm. It's the best. It's H2O. And I'd say Moonlighter thinks so, even though this might be some sort of lava lamp pushing kind of thing. But I'm going to say it's water. <laughs> okay, Moonlighter. This was published back in May of 2018, developed by Digital Sun and published by 11-Bit Studios. Described on Steam as, Moonlighter is an action RPG with rogue light. That's light. Not like, light. Rogue light elements that demonstrates two sides of the coin revealing everyday routines of Will, an adventurous shopkeeper that secretly dreams of becoming a hero. Tagged on Steam as Hack and Slash, Rogue Light, Pixel Graphics, and RPG. Normally retails on Steam for 19.99 United States dollars. There is one DLC called Between Dimensions. Not sure what it adds, but it'll run you 6.99 United States dollars. They also have the um, soundtrack for Moonlight of the main game as well as the soundtrack for the DLC. So if you're into the soundtracks, that's there for you too. Okay. Main menu. Uh, you can see I'm running version 1.14.37.15, if that means anything to you. Uh, new game, options, exit, DLC available. Like I said, it's just that one. So, options. Language, let's see what we got. Okay. That language. Espanol. Uh, French. Uh, German. Uh, I believe that's Polish, but don't catch me lying. Uh, I think that's Russian. That one, too. Sorry. Again. Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese. Okay. That one. I'm sorry. I... Yep. Sorry. Uh, Turk. Uh, don't know. I... Turkish, maybe? Italian. They got a lot of languages on here. And back to English. Okay. So, nice to see so many languages on this game. Screen shake. The default settings at 50. I'm going to see if I leave it there or not. We'll see. Vibration is off. Uh, it's normally on. I just like it off. Text speed. Got normal, slow. Oh, just normal and slow. Okay. Difficulty. Cannot change while in dungeon. And it recommends hard. You have hard, very hard, normal. <laughs> okay. Recommended hard, normal, very hard. Okay. You have easy, normal, hard. Whatever. Okay. Credits are there if you want to look at them. That's awesome. Um, and yes, my cursor's here, but I am, this game suggests that you use a, um, controller, and I just have a 360-style gamepad in. Uh, graphics. Yeah. Yeah, nice to see more here, but, you know, it is pixel graphics, so. You can do what you can do with pixel graphics. So, resolution, um, we got, oh god. Okay. Do I have a pixel perfect? Nope. Okay. Not sure what Pixel Perfect does. Okay. Do I have a Pixel Perfect for mine? I know this is flashing for y'all because I'm changing resolutions, but just deal with it. Okay, I didn't have a Pixel Perfect. That's a shame. We're going to leave it at what the game uh, found on my screen. So, we'll leave it there. 13, yeah. And I'm not sure what Pixel Perfect does, actually. I can tell no difference other than the, the, the resolution changes, so we'll leave it there. Full screen, on or off, I'll leave it on. Vertical sync, on or off, we'll leave it on. Sound, okay, nice. This is, I like this. You got, uh, you can turn dialogue on and off, uh, GUI noises on and off, sounds, which, I guess sounds, okay. Okay. Okay, so individually, okay, so sounds are stuff that, Okay, I don't know what sounds are, but you can turn... You can turn it, it looks like, all your sound off if you want to. Interesting choice. But otherwise, you just have sliders for your music volume, your sound volume, and your GUI. I'd like to see the dialogue volume, but this might be one of those games where the dialogue's just, you know... You know. Noises that don't make any sense to us. It's just noise. And then controls. Like I said, they suggest a controller, but look at this. Keyboard support. Or control. So yeah, we're going with controller. I'm sure the game will give me a tutorial on that, and I don't need anything else there. Okay. Without further ado, let's jump right into Moonlighter. New game. Oh, I even got save slots. Okay, uh, 
At least five safe slots. So one. Uh. Oh, they, okay. There you go. New game plus is available if you want that in the future. And we want to s focus on the story. Original difficulty level created by the developers. Recommended for most players. And then for players who want a combat challenge. So it sounds like it's just changing the challenge. So they recommend hard. We'll go with it. Even though I think it's normal. Mic bump. Sorry. Mic bump. It's, it's all good. Where do we land? Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. Okay. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of, of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. They named them Renoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. Okay. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, just to continue. Okay. <laughs> Loading. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. It's a damn heavy bag he's got on. <gasps> oh, we're right into it. Okay. Got my moves. We got some. Okay. What do I do? Is just okay. Just I can run through tables, which is cool, I guess. These fountains do anything? Nope. Okay. Oh, and I, I got a 20 inventory. Okay. Just papers everywhere. Okay. The sign says go, so we'll go. Alright. Uh, left trigger? Oh, little dodge roll there. Okay. Oh, this is a tutorial, I guess. So, we're gonna run through, I guess. Okay. Uh, left trigger. Oh, it's my dodge and my jump. Okay. Uh, left trigger. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, it says left trigger. I gotta do it at the right time. Okay. All right. So they just want me to run past enemies right now. Oh, left trigger, left trigger, okay. I'm just running right now. Oh, why can't I get that? Oh, I can. It just kind of hovers toward me. Okay, A, oh, oh, okay. First enemies that it wants me to actually fight. And these little slime things, it looks like, okay. I can now attack upward. Do I have a broom? I think I just have a broom or a shovel or something. It's a broom. It's totally a broom. Okay. Nice. Got a broom as a weapon. And then... Right trigger. Oh, but I'm at full health. So right trigger's healing, but I'm at full health. Okay. Oh! Left bumper switch my weapon. That's one attack. What's the X attack? Oh, it's a charge attack. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, what do we got? Uh, okay. Oh no! Oh, he didn't do that much damage. Okay. Defeat the enemies and a ton of stuff gets dropped. Okay. All the chests open up, that makes sense. Stick? Sure. Okay. What do we got? Okay, I've got fabric. And I've got, um, hardened steel. Left bumper, quick take all. Let's do that, yep. Oh, okay. So you can use the joysticks for movement if you want. Which I'm probably going to stick to. Uh, fabric and, nope. What's this? Foundry rests. 
there an info? No, there's not. Okay, just take that all. Uh, sort. Sorted by price, sorted by culture. Okay, sorted by price. Okay. Onward. Oh, this is going great. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Maybe a broom was not the best weapon to take into the freaking dungeons. Okay, so I drop everything when I die. All right. And, okay. It, all right. I did great that evening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe don't take a broom in there. Oh no! The old wise man sees the young man getting the shit beat out of him. What a sorry looking kid. Yep. Xenon. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will I have you now? Okay. Xenon, who apparently knows me. Also knows I got my shit beat out of me. But okay. Hey. Oh, wow. Okay. Xenon. Home. Shop. Oh, okay. My home and shop. All right. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious about the dungeons. Oh, okay. Can't read any of that. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did your little merchant... Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. Oh, the, so the store is named Moonlighter. Okay. Can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth dungeon. Nonsense is foolish, just leave it. Okay. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you deft boy. <laughs> yeah. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Oh, okay, yeah, classic. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. A little sword and shield, it looks like. Now then, get up. Uh, you are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many years ago. Oh, yes, the beard. The beard brushing. All right, let's go. Do I have... Nope. Can't mess with that chest. Do I have... Nope. Okay. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Supply and demand, yep. Come now, open the shop, and allow the customers in. Hold open shop. See that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap you, for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. It's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Everyone's got big backpacks in this game. Hmm. Don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Yep. Okay. Finally, be careful of selling pop a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook and it should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Uh, that's why. Okay. Um... 
Right bumpers equip. Okay. Inventory. Notebook. Ah, notebook. Okay. So... I opened the notebook, right? Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Storing the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Okay. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Alright, so I have a pendant. Okay. Saving. Go on now. These weird bones of mine must rest. Okay. So why? I have hardened steel, fabric, foundry rests, potions, and root. Okay. Nope. Right trigger. Okay. So root. A root from giant plant offer... Oh, very useful in the crafting of new bows. Okay, so very sharp, commonly found in the bodies of ancient golems. Okay, iron bar, iron. F okay, so these are all stuff I can find. Oh, crystallized energy. Would appear the energy surging. Oh, sorry. Appear the energy surging through the crystal. Uh, through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. Could we harness this power somehow? Okay, foundry rests. I believe this is what remain. To be remains of an old foundry, if the golems are created, what created them? Okay. Notebook. Wait, what? Merchant. Hold on. Merchant. Golem. Forest. Oh, okay. So these are different zones, I guess it would seem. And there's a certain number of... Oh, items in each area. Okay. That's cool. All right. This is my inventory. I've got... I still got the broom, y'all. I can still go ham with the broom. And what is, what is this? Merchant Pendant. Pendant allows merchants to return from dungeons in exchange, in exchange of gold. Okay. And I have 300 gold. Okay. Uh, wish list. Okay. I guess I have to find stuff to put on there. Oh, it's January 2nd, y'all. 28 days in a month. And we have, oh. Okay, it does the Stardew Valley thing, but instead of four seasons, you actually have all the months of the year. With no exact year date. Okay, cool. Alright, uh. Let me talk to you. You were in my shop. Massa, this is Redmond. Massa, my son, when I find you. Oh, Will, have you seen Massa around by chance? Mesa, Massa? Are you heading into the dungeons? Be sure to take advantage of the hot spring if you find it. The water will soothe your eggs, just downright revitalize you. Okay. Oh, bored, I can't mess with in town. Renoke may not be as prosperous as it used to be, but many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Gollum dungeon, perhaps possibly even one from the closed dungeons if we are lucky. Okay. Who are you? Renoke, what a town. Okay. What's this? Oh. That's what I want. Can I? Oh, yeah! Oh, okay, so shield bash and then a... Oh, come on, I can... Nope, can't destroy these. Okay. Where's the where's the place, though? And do I have a time limit every night? I guess I might. I don't see a timer anywhere, but... Oh, what's this say? Yep. Dun oh, well, that was easy to find. Dungeons. Okay... Dungeon. Okay. Cool. Thanks, game. Okay, so it does have an arc swing. Okay. So... All the dungeons are closed off. I only have one option. Actually, what's this little wood thing? It's just extra wood planks. Okay. Golem Dungeon. Dungeons available to merchants and heroes. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Enter. Oh, man. Just a weird gloopy void sucking you in. Okay. I have two options. Let's go forward. Well, this is much better. Oh, yeah! That's why they give out roots. They're a little shrub with roots coming out of it. Okay. Now, what's... If I go back... 
So if I go back, I go to the same place. Okay. So it's randomly generated, but not every... I can tank it. I have a whole three potions. Is this... Okay, no. That's just a fountain on the wall. can't fall in the, you know, ground. Oh, what's... Okay, yeah, of course. All this stuff I'm interested in, it's like, no, nah, just don't be. Just, just go. Okay. Nope. Okay, you have to dodge practically. <laughs> now realizing the dead body. Okay. Five sticks. Okay, read. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. Took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. Dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map. Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy, said old oh, crazy- Oh, it's Pete! Dun gone, lost his marbles, but I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. <laughs> But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth dungeon of Renoke. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay. Where's your diagram? Where's your diagram, boy? Oh. Read. Big boss gonna kill. <laughs> I'm supposed to let them all out. Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Uh, big boss gonna be upset with little me. Okay. Blue key, purple key, light purple key, orange key. Okay. Got that. Oh! Okay. So, more gold. Okay. Pendant charge up with gold when it has enough gold and it's decharged. Okay. That makes sense. So, like, right now, I can't use my pendant, it looks like. Okay. That's it for in here. Well, maybe it's it for in here. Am I done in here? These pendants broke. Oh, do I have to use B? me to use B. Oh, I have to hold it, charge it. Okay. It's not just a press thing. Escape with pendant. I killed some enemies. Okay. Yep, go to town. Alright, simple. Oh, right next to my house. It knows where I live. Great. Cutscene, here we go, okay. Ah, oh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact, finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You you found old Pete. <laughs> Dead. Yep. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Gollum dungeon. Okay. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Okay. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. Okay. So, I can revitalize town by spending money to invest in shops. And also, my buddy here... 
is telling me just, 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 just stick to the golem dungeon. I wonder if I can go back and check. Oh. Okay, so there's different. Oh, okay, this is. Okay, so this is kind of your Pokedex or whatever you want to call it, where you can see your enemy types. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's why all the shops are closed up. All right, what do they want? I have 100 gold. Oh, look at the town. Vulcan's Forge, do you feel the dungeon's too hard? Tired of your old weapons? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials a forge to be reckoned with. 500 gold, the wooden hat, okay. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. And then Lee, tra Lee Retailer, Lay Retailer. Tired of looking for items in the dungeon? Do that job to others and come to Le Retailer, where you'll find the finest items in Renoka. Le Retailer. Uh, because life's complicated enough. Okay. Oh. Banker? Interested in making your money work for you? Trust your money in my hands and I will make it grow before your eyes. Signed, the banker. 70k. Okay. 500, 500, 5500, 70k. Wait, no. Yeah, 70k. 20k for the hawker. As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to for techniques to create objects that will that can inspire people visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors okay so five shops i can buy or what's the shop upgrades shop level one the shop expansion allows merchants to decorate it to please their customers as well as additions additional space for your items okay shop expansion adds new sh okay okay i see up at the top okay all right so, you can get to tier 4 eventually. And then we have cheap sale box. Items can be sold in this box will have a 75% discount. Okay. So, sale boxes, cash registers. Oh, they add tips. Okay. And then beds. A full new bed that will grant adventurers extra health in the morning. Such a good bed that you'll, need, you'll feel protected after sleeping in it. Sweet dreams are made of gold. Feel protected. Even in the hardest dungeons, the comfort will be with you always. And then chest, extra space. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, right trigger and left trigger. Okay. So close that. All right. Cool. Can't afford anything. Let's sell stuff, I guess. Okay. Can I? Hmm. Let me... Firstly... Um, yeah, there we go. That's good. And then, what do I have a lot of? I got a lot of twigs. Hey, let's put a golem core. Actually, no. Let's put two of those out there. Actually, no, I lied. Yeah. Let's put one out there. And I got a bunch of twigs, so let me sell some twigs. Golem core. Oh, wait, I can. It's a golem core, y'all. It's got to be worth a pretty penny, right? Let's just do 70, 175. Okay. And maybe like, I don't know. Tasting gold? I don't know. We'll see. Um, what else do I got? Teeth stones. I got I got plenty of iron bars, wet stones. Yeah, let's go with iron bars. Actually, no. Sorry. Let's do 50 there. Alright, sure. I gotta sleep, right? Oh, what's this? Read? Oh, it's just, it's just, okay. Open, um, left bumper, oh. But I want to keep my potions, right? Yeah, I want to keep my potions on me. Okay, and then let's see. It's not what I wanted, what do I want? Right triggers, okay. Nothing over here. So everything should be in the golem area, right? 
Nope. So hardened steel. Okay, so they're in brackets. So hardened steel should be up to 275, right? Or am I reading this wrong? No. Yeah, hardened steel. Okay. So everything below here is less than 275. I don't. I don't know what the 275 line is. We'll we'll find out, right? Okay. I guess we'll see tomorrow. All right. Rest for the night. Oh, what, what about this chest? Okay, so I have two chests. Hold to sleep. Sleep for the night. Save the game. January 3rd. I'll just go back to sleep again. All right. Oh, I have to open the shop, y'all. I have to open the shop. Ridiculous backpacks. Come on, y'all. I got wooden sticks, metal sticks, crystals, golem cores. Oh, okay. Can I change that real quick? Okay, nice. This is what I like. This is what I like. Okay, so... Let's try five. Oh, no. Not free. Let's just try ten. What's he not like? Okay, he doesn't like anything. My prices on everything are suck. Okay. Okay, yeah, the crystal thing. I knew that already. Okay, hold up. Let me check. Right trigger. Merchant to go to Gollum. So I'm trying to sell... Iron bar. 50 too high. Really too high. Root. 10 is really too high. Okay. Okay, so... And apparently this is too high, too. Sure, 125. Okay. Sure. And then I can... Oh, oh I need to place something else out here. Okay. Sell that stuff. Get me more... Um, what do I not have? I don't have vines or tea stone out there, right? Okay, more product. Tea stone, let me do vines, because... It can't be too expensive, right? Uh, sure. Actually, no. Let's do vines at five, and then roots at, like, what, ten? Sure. Okay, what do we think? Happy on the bar, not happy on the twig. Okay. Let's do, I guess, five. I don't know. Okay. Now that was... Was that too good of a deal? Okay. Completely two different games in one. Here with the Moonlighter and the... Um... Yeah, you got the Iron Bar. Very ha Okay. So 20 gold's too, mu too little on the Iron Bar. Okay. Do I add more Iron Bars or do I sell them? Nope. I got 10. Right trigger, what is that? Okay, so I can go back and forth here. All right. So let's try iron bar for like what? Wait. Right trigger, iron bar, 20 is too cheap. So 30, maybe. Was that too much for a twig or a root? Okay, five for a root. All right. I I see you. Thought I put these all down, but I 
Uh, what is this? A teeth stone. Okay, sure. So the vines, he wasn't happy at that price, but whatever. Oh, just bought the iron bars, okay. Oh, because it was 10 at 30, okay. And actually, let me see if I need to change anything. So, people are upset at 125 too. I want to keep some iron bars. I can sell these. Uh, yep, deal with it, people. You're getting twigs. I'm selling you twigs. Deal with it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Place all. Okay, quick place all. What do you, what a twig? What do you got? Root five is good. Okay. And it auto sets. Okay, so what about this thing? Ten is too much. I don't want to go two. It's not as much. Mm. Let's do eight. Well, no. Hold on. If ten is way too much, then maybe it's closer to seven. I don't know. What about this golem thing? 125 is too much. Okay, we'll try that. Still? Still? Okay. Low money on the teeth stone, okay. All right. Oh my god, people buying so much. It doesn't matter, I guess I can get all this again. So let me just uh, quick move all. Actually, can I just take all? There, yeah, quick move all, okay. What do you think about 80? Oh, too low, too low, okay, okay. Let's try 90 this time. Actually, no. Go for 100. Uh, twigs. They sell. Whetstone and iron bar. I have data on those. Twigs, five is good. Iron bar, 30 is a little high, so... 26, sure. Whetstone I have nothing on, right? But... I mean, iron bars were 20. Let's try 15. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this too. Yeah. Okay. Raking in the money here. Can already invest in a shop if I want it. Twigs, yep. People liking them roots. There you go. Enjoy your roots. I guess making stuff for, you know eaten. I don't know. I don't know. Can you eat roots? Uh, let's see what the fabric goes for. Okay. Too much for the iron bars. All right. They bought that. Okay. Okay. So I got the perfect price on the, uh, what was it? On the iron bar. Not the iron. Yeah, yeah. The cores. Do I have any info on you? Nope. Hold on. But. Okay. So. Let's just bump you up to 28. So I don't know. So 7 was too much on that. So let's go to 6. Let's see. Nope. 
sold. Now I should have data on that. Uh, where are you? Do 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 do. Was that iron bars? So I don't have data. No wait, no. Golem rocks, 100 good. Iron bars, somewhere between 20 and 30. Okay. What? What's? Oh man, got some pauldrons on you, buddy. Okay, hardened steel. Yep. And then you getting some rocks. Yep. Uh, bud, what do you want? This is my shop. Oh. Foundry wrists. Ten, sure. Fabric, I've got no feedback on. Iron bars, 30's too much, 20's too good. Let's just put it at 25 and call it fine. Uh, mysterious figure. Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay. Oh, too, too good on the fabric. I see. Too good on the fabric. This lady's backpack looks like it's just filled with freaking books, and I love it. Oh, that's the end of the day. All right. So saving at the end of the day. Okay. So balance. 20 people, zero. Please tell me there's not burglars. Popularity. Okay, low popularity on that stuff. Wait. What? So I just balance in popularity. Okay. All right, 20 customers, okay. Good little, uh, yeah, good little sweet for the day. Okay, so, do I have, I have no info on that, I wanna leave that out. Info on iron bars, I know that they're probably 25, so I'm gonna, yeah, take that, the rest I'm gonna leave in there, and, did I sell my freaking potions, or did I? I don't know. Where'd my potions end up? I might have sold all my potions, gamers. This is, oh no, they're equipped to me. They're five, uh, exit. Yep, can't open at night. All right. So I can go to the dungeons this way too. Is this quicker? Yep, it's quicker. Oh, is there? Nope. Oh, it's just the door's closed. That's right. All right. Once more, into the dungeon. The dungeon of goo that just sucks you in. Oh. Uncomfortable. Golem dungeon. Let's go left. Okay. Left was a bad idea, probably. There's literally blood on the floor. Hey, it's a gelatinous cube, gamers. blood, not lava, right? Oh, it just slows me down. It doesn't hurt me. It just slows me down. Okay. Wait, can I go through the crack? In nope. Okay, just through the doors. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, that went sort of okay. Other the damage I took. that's the end. Okay. And I do have a map in the bottom left that tells me where I'm going, or where I've been, I guess. Okay. So sides. Sides. Oh no! Oh, this is not good. Okay, I can drink a potion while I'm... Okay, this is not good. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. And they dropped some sort of goo. Okay. So they're temporary tiles. I guess I could lure... Okay, foundry... Artifact must be placed to left or right in bag. Yeah. Fabric must be placed... To... I don't know what that means. To left or right in the bag. I don't know what that means. 
I don't know what it means. I guess maybe you can't, maybe there's location restrictions on where you can have certain stuff in your. I don't know. Strangers. What the? F <gasps> it's the shrine. It's the sh it's the shrine. What's this say? I wanted to read you. Why? Why do you hard souls keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. Uh-huh. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. That is interesting. Ah. Uh, and of course it does the little thing where it's, yeah, it's just your head in the water now. Okay. Heal me up. Let's go to the next room. Oh, I'm glad I used that. It's a boss fight, gamers. It's a boss fight. That's my potion, gamers. So I can block. I did it, gamers. Whew. We are definitely going to go use that fountain, though. And I don't want to know where that glowy portal goes to yet. Okay, so heal up. Investigate the rest of the rooms. And then later see where that portal goes. All right. Oh. Okay. fountain room again, because I keep taking damage. It's fine. I can leave whenever I want. I think. I don't know if I can leave from a locked room, though. Oh, the fountain. Oh, is its power gone? Since I used it twice? I got the water all dirty. I guess it's not as reinvigorating. Come on. Yep, it's just two heals then. Okay, that makes sense. All right. In that case, let's... Actually, no. I want to see where the funky portal goes in the boss room. I beat the boss. I should check out where his funky portal goes. Okay, funky portal. Let's go. Okay. Maybe this is a good idea. Golem du Oh, so it's the next level of the column dungeon. What, what did it read? This is one of these strange devices that, cre that creatures drop when on the field. This one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some pristine value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. Okay, the device looks like a mirror, so... I'm just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder, though, where do the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? No, you're not. Okay. So... I can get rid of stuff in my inventory. That's, I guess, a trash can, but I also need 300 gold to make enough gold. If, you know, if I need gold for my pendant. Okay. Mm, down. Down was not a good plan, gamers. I'm glad they can't shoot me, but... Come on, fight me, fight. Something new there. Nothing there, okay. Running on low health, gamers. And I can use it in a pinch, okay. So, okay. Yep, go to town. So yeah. I guess basically fight until you have low to no health and then run away. Gotta get back with the goods, gamers. Gotta get back with the goods. Oh, is it? Okay, it's almost daytime then. Let's see what I can invest in. Definitely probably want to shop. Town. Yeah, let me get Vulcans. Actually, no. Hold on. Or. Oh, that's too much. 
I want the discount. I want the cat. Okay, 4,000. Okay, none of it's worth it. All right. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? <laughs> yeah, okay. And then also a new person became available. Okay, I see him. I see him. I like the little cutscene. Okay. Fixes it up in no time. All right. Okay, yeah, I can talk to him later. Although, yeah, Larry Taylor. Okay. Go to town. You're right, book bag lady. Andre, of course, Andre. Hey, you must be Will No, the one who re requested my forge. My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. <laughs> okay, so armor. I can get, what is this? Fabric bandana, iron helmet, steel helmet. Okay, so everything costs stuff, of course. Um, swords and shields, so okay. Some stuff I know of and some I don't. It's so, like this is soldier short sword, rusty sh I can make my, tra oh, because of the training short sword, I can make it into a rusty one. Okay, but I need all of the items that I would need to do it. Okay. All right, and he's got bows, okay, armor. Any of the, nope, none of this I can get, okay. All right, keep that in mind. Try not to sell my crafting ingredients, I guess. And this is helpful. I guess I can put stuff out for the next day. So, nope. Nope. I need those for crafting now. Um, rich jelly. Jelly -like substance with many curative properties can be extracted from the various slimes. Essential, oh, uh, well, I'm keeping that. Uh, saw nothing about a broken sword in there, so. Oh, come on. Nothing about a broken sword. Okay. How much can it be worth? What, maybe 40? Fabric I need, hardened steel I need. Okay. Water sphere. A milky white sphere or s of or some unknown material containing water emitting a strange, almost eerie light. Doesn't say I need it for crafting, so we're selling it. Uh, let's do 100. Good hundo. I need whetstones. Uh, what do you got? Raw crystal. Okay, source of magic. Crystallized energy. I know what these sell for, so let me get a good, what is it, 300 out of them? Oh, yep, it auto does it. Yep, okay. Iron bar. Um, yeah, empowering crystal. We'll just do the one. Uh, maybe 50. I will say 60. All right, we'll go to bed and we'll come come in tomorrow and sell shit. Okay. Yep. Yeah, uh, quick move all. Actually, no. I want it here. Hmm. Oh, I can just switch them. Okay. I need fabric. Need hardened steel later. Need these whetstones. I think that's... Hmm. Now you see, now I gotta go check what all I need. Uh, Andre. Yeah, what do you got, Andre? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do need those orbs of power. The orbs of power, fabric, okay. And I do need those short. Okay. Basically, it looks like you need everything. <laughs> what a shame. Okay. What a shame. Then my plans will be just to uh, sell everything I can, because yesterday I sold a lot. Alright, can I open the shop now? That's not it. Open the shop. Okay, this guy's sleep schedule makes no sense to me. I guess it's just hay in that backpack. Yeah, it's gotta be hay. Some other green plant leaf thing. I don't know about you gamers, but this is a great game. Gives you two, two, two whole games, really, to me, it feels like you're playing. One's a dungeon crawler inventory management, and the other's inventory management sales character. Oh no. The sword hilt went for too cheap. Alright, sword hilt. 
What are you at? 40 was bad, so... Sure. Yeah, 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 you gotta steal. You robbed me blind. Oh no, that crystal went for too cheap, too. So, 62 cheap, let's do 80. See how that goes. Crystals are a fine price, just buy them. Okay. Nope, sword hilt's still, still too cheap. Alright. Okay, water thingy I had the perfect price on. No, I don't want to sell those. What I want to sell... Nope, that, rich jellies for potions. Yeah, let's sell this. We know the hundreds is a good price. Let's sell stuff I have full stacks of. We're assuming 25 is a good price on that. Oh, did I not... I have one more thing. Yeah, because I did not know. 40 is way too cheap on those. I'm assuming maybe 70. Who knows? Oh my god, that crystal's still too cheap. Fifteen just right there. Okay. Oh my god, too cheap there too. I'll get right to you, sir, after you. Rob me blind. I don't know, but yeah, okay. I'm still making money, but still, yeah. What else we got? Some, uh... Nope. I have no idea on Foundry Rests, that's right. Okay. Okay, that's a good price. Six. Sell it. Get it out of here. Okay. Oh, 25 is just right. Okay. Misunderstood what someone else was smiling about with money in their eyes. Money in their eyes, it could have been mine. Good. Good. Making bank, y'all. Uh. Okay. Golem core, that's good. Um, no, I'm not selling that. Do I have... Fabric is... Five is too cheap on fabric. We're going 15. No, we're going to go 10. Oh, no. My foundry rests were too cheap. I just got fabric, ma'am. You got books. Maybe you need some fabric to mend your books. I don't know. And? Okay. Fabric goes for more than 10. All right. That's fine. I think that's it, but I will try. Nope. That's for post. Ah, screw it. Screw it. It's for potion making, though, so you're going to have to pay... Yeah, it's for potion making, so... Cough up. It's potion making. Yeah, well, it's potions, y'all. It's potions. It's, you know, potions. Okay, did that, did that make you any happier? Come on, someone check out my... Magic jelly. That, mmm, came out wrong. Okay, alright. You try... Rich jelly. Oh, it's rich jelly. Okay. Let's try a hundred, then. Maybe it's more common than I'm thinking. Hey, old man. With your wise, you know, eyes. Tell me how much my rich jelly is worth. Is it rich? Too rich for your blood? No one's interested. No one. Yep. Anyone? Anyone? Pops? Do you want to check it out? Oh, oh, Granny. Oh, yeah. Come on, Granny. Is it too much? Okay. 
Okay, apparently I am overestimating the price of this. Let's just, uh... Sure. Let me guess, gold in his eyes. No, oh my gosh, really? Maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. I don't know. Okay, so... Sure. I swear, if he gets gold in his eyes. No! Okay. What are you, like a freaking fiver or something? I wonder if I can just kick people out. Yeah, hold the close. Okay, so I can close the shop whenever. Nope, oh, into the night. Okay. Nice. 23 customers. Popularity not up or down at all. Okay, so broken swords need to sell for more. Alright, made a pretty little penny though. Let's leave you out because I want to know how much you're worth. Alright. I think I'm going to sleep for the night. Yep, hold to sleep and then I will, uh. Yeah. I'll play this game definitely more. The loop is very... What has it been? About an hour. I've gotten, you know, two or three of each in. This is good. But yeah. Moonlighter, if you... I mean, the art style is great. And music... Music's good. It's kind of in the background. Not way up in your face a lot. But yeah. Man, the mystery though here. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Four keys. Four keyholes. Who knows? Yeah, I guess you just gotta open each one and figure it out. But yeah, plenty of game here. Very rogue light uh, in the dungeons and how they're made. Oh, there's even a little smoke in my house coming from the chimney. But yeah, that's that's not worrisome. Wait, did I put potions here? I didn't put potions here. Did I put potions? Nope. Okay, that's right. I got nothing. Nothing but some rich jelly to make potions at some point. But yeah, great game, gamers. Check out Moonlighter if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it right here, gamers. Thank you for watching. Feel free to do all the stuff. I have been a formal bust. Until next time, take care and drink some H2O.